Creativity is a process. It emerges from sparks of brilliance that kindle a flame. Ideas ignite connections in the mind of the creator and the physical world. Where those connections overlap is where creativity lives. Creativity is the lifeblood of innovation. It drives the journey from concept to design to functional product. Innovators like you change the world every day. This is why we support and reward you. Invent. Evolve. Unite. BCX Digital Innovation Awards 2023. Welcome to the annual BCX Digital Innovation Awards. We're here to recognize and celebrate creativity, imagination, and innovation. Innovation is a process driven by imagination, brought to life through creativity. Creativity drives the journey from concept to design to functional product. Innovators recreate the world into the shapes of their imaginings. Innovators shape the world. Let's celebrate our future. My name is Anna Nascimento and I head up Strategic Data Enablement at APSA. I'm joined in the studio today with Vagna and online we have Lado all the way from our Prague offices. They're both in our data science office. Part of our core strategy at APSA is to become customer focused and customer obsessed. So to better serve our customers, we, we needed to become obsessed with the customer via our personalized interactions. We were forced to become agile, to swiftly respond to market changes. And we needed to find ways to be more efficient using cloud-based distributed environments. Firstly, the feature maker eliminates the need to calculate features over and over. So empowering Africa's tomorrow together, one story at a time as our purpose at APSA, but in our case, many models at a time. I'm here to present on a concept called Mobi Readathon, which is a web-based reading development program that we introduced as part of our digital transformation programs within City of Jobbeck Libraries. So what is Mobi Readathon? It's basically reading with technology. It's for high schools, introducing them to reading resources available online. They use their mobile devices. And then it's based on our e-learning website, which is specifically focusing on online learning and online content. It combines two things, reading development and digital literacy, because they learn to interact with technology navigating their mobile devices. And again, mobile literacy is part of it. Reading has to be for the entire country. Yes. So how is Joba going to play a role in ensuring that there, that there is a real impact? So we are definitely going to support regions. We are not looking at it, at it as a Joba uh, project. We want to see it uh, becoming a, 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 a normal activity in different libraries with the schools in those regions. So we are really open to supporting them. I'm here to tell you guys a little bit more about Moment and how we revolutionize asset ownership and legal contracts through blockchain technology. It allows communities to purchase parts of solar installations and profit from the power that's sold to businesses. These earnings are automatically distributed via smart contracts and ownership rights are underpinned by long-term contracts that are embedded in the digital assets themselves. These are fully decentralized and tradable assets with rights enforceable in 160 jurisdictions all around the world. So the strategic intent of the of the of the, of the, of the Strat Hub is to provide the city leadership and officials and communities with access to tools that support um, data insight driven decision policy making and uh, strategic decision making to support it in its journey towards building a data driven culture. We want to position data as critical infrastructure for improving operational efficiencies, improving service delivery, um, targeted uh, targeted resource allocation, supports responsive city um, that promotes core governance. 
Um, it's a three-tiered approach. It's a data visualization, it's a data cloud warehousing, and a digital automation, um, digitization and automation. The healthcare system in South Africa has to change. You know, your healthcare journey is from cradle to grave. And the problem with that is that it's fragmented. From the time you're born till the time you leave this earth, healthcare is fragmented, siloed, you move between different doctors, between different facilities, and it's complex. So what is CareConnect's vision and mission? So our vision is very much to help improve health outcomes. We want people to be healthy, and we want to improve quality, improve safety, and ultimately bring in the cost down of healthcare, because that's the barrier to access. And the only way to achieve this is to provide health information sharing solutions, because data in a digital economy is needed across the board to improve these outcomes. I'm sure uh, you've all uh, encountered uh, doctor's uh, handwriting and probably even heard the stories about it. Um, and whilst we might poke fun at this, um, doctors work under immense pressure across the globe. Research indicates that approximately 60% of medication errors in hospitals are a as a result of the misinterpretation of doctor's handwritten notes. We set out to build HEAL, a platform that would allow electronic records faster than on paper. To do this, we knew we needed to have a system that was extremely fast, easy to use, and most importantly, it had to be bulletproof. We also set out to reduce and almost eliminate repetitive tasks to allow doctors to focus on clinical care and spend more time with their patients. Um, so today, Sale and I are going to be presenting from Africa to Conservices. And Africa to Conservices was born to decrease the unemployment rate. We've developed a, a platform, a learning platform called Mzansi Digital Learning. Within this platform, it has a few capabilities that allow the underprivileged to access this platform. So mainly speaking around the low bandwidth technology that's utilized within this platform. So what we've done with the low bandwidth technology is we allow people to consume content at a very measurable data consumption rate. So this data trickles through, so it allows you to get to the learning content, video-based content, audio-based content, and the quizzing and assessment modules on the platform to uh, allow an expansive learning experience at a very low cost. The biggest service offerings that Africa to Con Services does um, is specialized skills training in different sectors or categories um, within different businesses and, and across the country. And a lot of those graduates that come out of that specialized skills training, we actually try and absorb. Today, I present the groundbreaking auto assessment project proving that compliance doesn't have to be taxing. SARS is on a mission to make taxpayers' lives easier. Over 140 million data records are harnessed annually. This vast sea of data is processed, scrubbed and matched to breathe life into an automated assessment. The simulated return undergoes methodical scrutiny using SARS risk engines, machine learning and analytical tools. The result? a seamless automatic generation of an assessment. This revolutionary auto-assessment implementation sets a new global benchmark across revenue authorities. So my name is Catherine and I'm representing Metzal AI and we are there to deliver early and accurate detection of breast cancer. We are collaborating as a multidisciplinary team starting with community healthcare workers, helping with the education of patients, moving on to non-profit volunteers, getting them to the local rural Ujjani clinics, and also a dedicated task team at the main hospital sites. Our unique patient referral pathway system has allowed that patients from their current standard of waiting up to six months to now being fast-tracked within a week for surgical intervention. Our app is currently launched on the Google Play Store and it works seamlessly alongside the Clarius wireless built-in Wi-Fi ultrasound probe. During live streaming, the nurse is able to provide on-site diagnosis, meaning the patient can immediately be referred for further surgical intervention. Join us again next year for another exciting showcase of innovation excellence.